Hey, hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So it's been a long time since I've had a view for y'all, but I'm at my client's house and I finally had this good view. So I decided to join her. Fun fact about me, I had moved to the South like quite some years ago and I always thought I was a city girl until I got down South. Like, no, I'm a country girl. I like the wide open spaces. I like the fresh air. I love that there's no light pollution. You can see the stars at night, y'all. Anyway, y'all know that's not what I'm here to talk to y'all about. What I really want to talk to you about is the word that the my pastor dropped that really just downloaded and enveloped in my spirit. And that word is that we don't live a particular way as Christians or believers because we are trying to attain heaven or we want to just live this super restricted life. We live the way we do for one reason and one reason only. We love God. Now let me explain that better. When I tell people I'm a believer, y'all know what it's like. People give you the side eye real quick. Like, oh, she thinks she better than everybody. And that's typically because we have made choices to not participate in certain things of this world. Y'all know what those things are, but, you know, to give examples, you know, we don't fornicate, we don't drink alcohol, we don't smoke, we don't lie, steal, kill, cheat, you know. But the one thing that my pastor really focused in on is that we don't do those things just so that we can go to heaven. No amount of good works that you could ever do is ever going to be good enough to qualify you to go to heaven. He tells us in this word, literally all of us fall short of the glory. There's not one single person here on earth that is worthy. Your ticket into heaven is through you being a believer. If you believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and that he died for your sins and that our God is the almighty, you're going to heaven. Period. He wants to leave us. But in actuality, we choose to eliminate those kinds of things, those earthly things, those worldly things from our lives because we love God. And that's how we show him. When you love something, you value it. And what it says. So if you love God, you value him and his word. And his word says to not participate in those kinds of things. Plus, when I get to heaven, I'm not trying to have Jesus be like, go ahead in, girl. I want that well done, my good and faithful servant. Side note, there's also levels to heaven. I don't want him to tell him me to go ahead and enter level one. Nah, I'm trying to be on that top tier level. Where's God at, okay? That's where I'm trying to be. I don't want to just make it in. I want to be up here with it, y'all, okay? That wasn't that high, but y'all get what I'm saying. So our actions and the way that we choose to live life isn't about getting into heaven. It's about loving him. Because I already got my ticket, okay? I just don't want that economy ticket. I want that first class, okay? First class. Next to God. So remember, it's not about getting in, it's about loving him.